Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to put an active PS3 overlay on your streamer videos using OBS. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So just to make it clear in today's video, everything I'm going to be doing is going to be done directly from a PC. So I'm actually going to be playing games on my PC. I'm not going to be using a PS3 in this process, but I am going to be showing a PS3 controller overlay. So it'll show exactly what you're doing, what your button presses and exactly like that. So just to make this process perfectly clear, I'm going to be doing this entire thing on PC. I'm not actually going to be able to see this live. It's only going to show up on my streams and recordings in post. So that's something to keep in mind and everything is going to be done and played directly on my computer. So the first thing you need to do for this is open up your web browser and we're going to be coming to this link links is always in the description down below and this is going to be for the gamepad viewer website and here we're going to be able to set up and showcase our controller on top of this so what we're going to do is come to this website and if this is your first time coming here you may just see this blank orange brown screen right here and at the bottom you may get this notification there are currently no gamepads connected press any button to continue so what you need to do from this point is connect your controller to your computer so if you're using a ps3 controller officially simply connect it to your computer i'm not going to be showing you that in today's video but if you'd like me to do a follow-up video where i show you step by step how to connect it i can definitely do that but once you have your controller connected all you need to do is press any button on your controller and then you will see your screen will change it will no longer mention the error at the bottom and then you have some extra settings up here what we're going to be doing is first clicking this drop down here none and we're going to be selecting player one or whatever player your controller is currently connected to in this case i only have one controller connected it's player one and by default it will show up here as an xbox one controller this is no problem we can really easily change this by coming up here to the middle we're going to be clicking on the xbox symbol right here and we're going to be selecting any of the other available controllers here of course for today's video we're going to be selecting playstation 3 controller and then we should see this playstation 3 controller right here now what we can really easily do from this point is simply press any buttons on top of our controller and you can see our buttons will actually start to show in an active overlay right here and just like that you can see we've created a nice preview overlay for our controller that's really easy to do now there is a couple of things we can do to customize this and there are some things i would recommend doing depending on what you want to do from this point to take a look at our other settings we're going to be coming up to the top left of the screen we're going to be looking for the burger menu right here we're going to be clicking this open and here we're going to see a list of a bunch of different settings we can experiment with the first thing i'm going to be showing you is just how to remap buttons just in case you want to change some things if we select this open, here we'll be able to change all the button mappings and bindings for our controller. So by default for me, everything actually worked directly out of the box. But if you are having any issues, you can feel free to add a new button mapping right here and add anything you want here. Select the button you want, select what it should do, and you can feel free to disable and set everything up here as you would like. Once you're happy with all of your settings, you can simply click apply mapping. For today's video, everything worked fine for me, but it is something to keep in mind. And I would also recommend exporting the mapping to a URL generator once you're happy with it so you can always have it as a backup a little bit later. The second thing we're going to be doing is generating a URL. So again, what we're going to be doing is coming to this website. We're going to be coming up to the top left. We're going to be clicking on the burger icon right here. We're going to be coming to the generate URL option here that shows over here on the left. If we select this open, here we're going to have to change a couple more things for our controller to fully work. So we're going to make sure that our controller player number is set to whatever we want so in this case player one is accurate for me we're going to be making sure our skin is set to the correct one that we want again what you're going to need to do is click this drop down and you're going to need to make sure you have the skin that you have selected previously you then have a couple of other settings here including the strength meter stick curving scale modifier dead zone and a couple of other things i'm not going to be playing with any of these in today's video i was actually pretty happy with what i had so i'm going to be leaving everything like this and then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming up to the top and I'm simply going to be clicking to copy this URL. If you click this, it will automatically copy this URL and we're going to need this a little bit later to bring it over to OBS. So from this point, I'm in OBS. I currently have a scene open. However, I have nothing open in the background. I did this on purpose to avoid this multi-screen effect here. So what I'm going to be doing is hiding everything. Once this is done, I'm going to be coming down to the bottom left. You can select any scene you would like to add this to or if you'd like to create a new scene, that is also fine. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming to the sources tab. We're going to be clicking on the plus button right here and we're going to be adding a new browser source right here so what we need to do is select this you can give this a name if you would like in this case i'm going to be naming a controller ps3 once you're happy with your name simply click ok and then this is going to be added right here now by default you'll get this obs scene right here but what we're going to be doing is affecting and changing the url a little bit lower and we're going to be pasting the url that we got from the website before so if we just control v or paste this in here we will have this set up and what i'm going to be doing for the moment is leaving everything else by default simply click ok and then you will notice your controller will show up inside here now from this point don't worry if it shows connected right away that isn't an issue what you need to do from this point is press any buttons on your controller and then this will load up and start to work right 
straight away. You can see just like that as I press any of my buttons, everything will work and show up here just like this. Now from this point, if you would like to edit this further, we're going to be coming back to our sources. We're going to be double clicking on the PlayStation 3 source that we just made. And here you can affect and change anything else you would want. Now by default, the way we set this up, we don't actually have a background, which is really great to see. You can feel free to change the width and the height here if you'd like to set it up. Or you can also feel free to use the red arrows in OBS if you'd like to scale it via that. We then have a couple of other things using custom frame rate. So if you're using a custom frame rate in OBS, you can feel free to set that up. And then you have a couple of extra controls. However, I'd recommend leaving all these by default. There's not really a big need to change any of these things. So I'm going to be leaving those alone. From this point, all we need to do is click OK. And then our controller is fully loaded in. And just like that, you've added a PlayStation 3 controller overlay onto OBS. You can now, of course, add anything to the background that you want. So for example, if I had my desktop right here, you can see it is going to duplicate all the way back. But you can add any type of game or source you want here. And you can create a really cool active PS3 overlay that you can add to any of your streams or videos. And it works really, really well. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to create a PlayStation 3 overlay for your videos or streams in OBS. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.